Now, do you guys want to play Destiny 2 early? Well, here's your chance. If you want to win one of my weekly beta call giveaways for Destiny 2, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment. Winners will be picked and announced on a Sunday. So the more you comment and like my videos, the more of a chance you've got of winning one of these beta codes. Good luck. What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny video and today I'm going to give you guys uh, my recommendations of what you can spend your legendary marks on come the 18th of April 2017 because as we all know come weekly reset uh, all vendors across the tower get a fresh stat and perk uh, reset on their weapons and armors uh, but before we go any further if you guys do enjoy the video leaving a like is much much appreciated and remember guys to be with a chance of winning my weekly destined to better call giveaway simply drop a comment down below super uh, elite Earl, how you doing buddy now straight up people Head over to the Crucible Quartermaster straight away and check out his palindrome. This week it is a must buy. Um, we've got a steady hand, we've got fast draw and we've got quick draw, we've got partial refund, we've got mulligan, reinforced barrel or casket mag and lock in the chamber. Lock in the chamber, reinforced barrel and either of these. This is a great, great, I mean yes, okay, it ain't rifled barrel, it does affect your stability but Wow, it doesn't really matter. If you can control your hand cannons, if you can control the stability on these things, you'll be perfectly fine with this. And this thing is just a beast. I mean, last week you had Hammer Forge, Outlaw, and Looking Chamber, I believe. I believe this one is better this week. Reinforced Barrel being a better range perk than Hammer Forged. So, yes, um, great, great weapon this week. Now, everything else, he hasn't bought anything great. I mean, if you're a shotgun fan, I mean, the 44 Curtain Call isn't too bad. Uh, Perk wise, I mean, we've got range finder, rifle, uh, reinforced barrel, sorry, uh, replenish and life support, with fuel choke, uh, soft ballistics, and smart drift control. So, fuel choke here, uh, replenish, reinforced, and range finder. That's gonna have some decent range, to be honest, and a quite okay impact. Now, like I said, in my opinion, shotguns ain't great anymore, and I wouldn't waste my marks on a shotgun, but I mean, I know there's people out there that do enjoy shotguns, so yeah. Um, to be honest, nothing else great. I mean, the anti rule isn't too bad with range finder, casket mag, and zen moment, but yeah, with short shot as well. But nothing amazing here, to be honest. Now, let's go and check out um, what he offers armor wise and ghost wise. See if there's any tier 12 gear right here. Okay, so here, to be honest, the only decent thing he has is this crucible uh, a shell right here, which is tier 12 compatible. Everything else here he is not, and not by a long shot, so yeah. Uh, nothing great here, to be honest, apart from this ghost shell. Let me just pick up these while I'm here. Um, so I'm going to check out the Vanguard Quartermaster, and I'll catch you guys back in a quick sec. Okay, so we are at the Vanguard Quartermaster, and to be honest with you guys, just nothing great here. I mean, the hand cannons average at best, with a triple tap, hammer forge, and lock in the chamber. But I don't like this archetype of hand cannons at the best of times, to be honest. I think they're a complete waste. Um, the actual parfing shot is it's decent. It's not as good as the one that was here last week, but it's decent. We've got secret round or partial refund. We've got brace frame, but does a lower magazine size down to about 21, 22, something like that. And range finder. This is an easy two burst headshot kill, um, but it's still, in my opinion, it. I don't think I'd waste my marks on it to be honest. Um, so yeah, um, that there's nothing here. There's not, the Vanguard's actually this week's pretty bad. Uh, this was a great weapon to pick up last week, as I mentioned. So was this. Uh, but to be honest, I mean, this Teacup Tempest isn't too bad. But how many sidearms do you actually need and use? We've got Reactive Reload, we've got High Caliber Rounds or Hand Loaded with Outlaw or Army of One with Sure Shot. So yeah. If you need a, a sidearm desperately, I suppose the Teacup Tempest could be for you. But nothing else here, in my opinion, is worth wasting your marks on. So let's go and check out Dead Motherfucking Orbit. Okay, so we are at Dead Orbit. And um, to be honest, it's got a couple of okay weapons. One, I believe, could pack quite a nasty punch within PvP. Actually, two that could. Uh, but we're going to start with the armor, seeing as... A lot of these arms actually garbage this week. We've got this ghost shell here, which is uh, tier 12 compatible, offering intellect discipline. And we also have 
these uh, leg uh, armors right here offering discipline strength but these are also tier 12 uh, compatible as well but everything else is not uh, some of them are quite close but n well a lot of them are quite a long way off but the legs and this ghost shell are both tier 12 compatible if that's what you need okay so weapons this one we want to look at right here the extreme of fire 011 now this is actually a, this will be a great weapon for pvp straight up because the continental last week had counterbalance it had perfect balance and it was the same archetype of weapon as this i do believe but this one also has high caliber rounds so this will drill people within pvp now i might actually switch to um dead orbit this week on one of my characters just to pick this up I mean, like, I would suggest you guys buy that palindrome if you have the mark spare. I personally have two amazing palindromes already. The best rolls you can get, in my opinion. So I don't actually need another palindrome. Um, so I have marks to spend on something else. And this extreme of fire may be that very weapon indeed. Another great, and this one will be a super strong, long-range weapon for PvP, is this one here, the Keystone 01. I mean, this is the same archetype as the Jade Rabbit for all you Xbox users out there who've never used a Jade Rabbit. We've got Hidden Hand, a small ball or unflinching with quick draw and high caliber rounds. So high caliber rounds, unflinching, hidden hand or hidden hand, uh, unflinching and quick draw. This will be a great, great weapon with a decent sight as well, which gives you extra um, range and target acquisition. So yeah, this will be a great weapon. It will be super powerful for PvP, but obviously at long range only. Now there's nothing else in my opinion that good here. I mean, nothing. I mean, this sniper rifle is okay, but it's a shame it's got a low impact. I mean, we've got an it Firefly, Clan Cartridge, Skip Rounds or Snapshot with the Ambush Scope. So it could have been a hit, but it's just a, the impact on it's pretty bad. This could have made a great PvE uh, sniper, but it's just impacts way off. It really is. It's just pointless using something so weak. And that is it, guys, for Dead Orbit, in my opinion. Nothing else that great here. Um, so, yeah, we're going to head over to New Monarchy, and I will catch you back in a quick second. Okay, so we are at Future Walkout, and... Um, well, just to be honest as well, there's nothing that I met. Okay, there's, there's a couple of things. There's a couple of things, but this week ain't been that great so far in terms of uh, shit across the board. Now, this gold shell uh, right here is a perfect stat roll, intellect strength, maximum 60. So it's 100%. This is a great, great gold shell for anyone needing one, uh, just especially intellect strength. You can't get any better, really, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, pick up that if you need one. But weapon-wise, there isn't nothing amazing here besides this thing right here, the wounded. And that's even if you like scout rifles. This will be for PvP, obviously. And we've got full auto, outlaw, and hammer forged. Or you can use rangefinder instead of um, outlaw. So, yeah, rangefinder, crowd control, full auto, uh, high caliber guns if you want. This is actually a decent, decent scout rifle. It's, I think it's like... Kind of shoots the same as the Mira Multi Tool, so yeah, could be quite good to be honest. I actually have this already with a um, full auto on it, and it's actually half decent. It really is. But other than that, guys, there's absolutely nothing here. Um, nothing really, nothing at all. Um, I mean, the hand cannon, fair enough. Firefly, small bore, third eye, high caliber rounds, quick draw. Not great at all. Seriously, not great. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to head over to New Monarchy. And uh, so I'll catch you guys back in a quick, quick second. Okay, guys, so we're at New Monarchy. And again, there's nothing that good here. I mean, this week has been quite honestly a disappointment. I mean, the armors are all standard, nothing great. Uh, we've got one gold shell, which is just about tier 12 compatible, which is this one right here. Um, but everything else sucks. Um, weapons, nothing great here at all. I mean, this sniper rifle probably being the best one. And still, in my opinion, isn't amazing. We've got short gaze, lightweight or skip rounds. We've got small ball or triple tap with hidden hand. Um, so, yeah, I mean, nothing great at all. What is going on this week? I mean, besides the palindrome, um, the extreme of fire, and maybe the keystone, uh, I don't think there's been anything else of that that good worth you spending your marks on. Uh, so that is it, guys, for another weekly refresh um, 
recommendation video hope you guys enjoyed it do smash that like button i do appreciate the support remember if you're new around here and enjoy daily destiny videos be sure to subscribe um, and also press that bell button next to that subscribe button to turn on email notifications so you never miss a video of mine but as always guys thanks for stopping by and i will catch you on that next one Always in the wrong, knowing where we stand, but you and I will carry on, we never get it right.